Welcome back to Take Action News, everybody. David Schuster here. Another amazing, amazing week in terms of all the news regarding uh, common sense gun control. The uh, background check gun legislation to the Senate was unable to pass. Joining us to talk about this, we act radio zone, Cliff Schefter. Cliff, how you doing this weekend? I'm doing well. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing great talking to you, Cliff, but I got to say that this guy, Ted Cruz, Republican senator from Texas, makes me want to puke. Here he is <laughs> taking credit for killing background, background checks and all gun control. Listen. This is a freight train. The momentum's with it. Get out of the way. <laughs> I mean, that was, that was the entire Ken conventional wisdom. And about four weeks ago, Rand Paul and Mike Lee and I sent a very short letter to Harry Reid. And we just said we intend to filibuster any legislation that undermines the Second Amendment right to keep and bear arms. Cliff, he's, he's, he's proud, he's taking credit, he's bragging about do something that will arguably make our children less safe. What is wrong with this guy? Well, as you know, he is all-powerful. He stopped it on his own. Do you know that he makes gravity work? <laughs> when the sun comes up in the morning, it sings Ted Cruz's name. Um, you know, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this on, the, on radio, but I'm going to try. He's just a complete jackass. Um, you know, I, he this is this is somebody that is the, the definition of everything that's wrong with Washington, essentially, because he this is the you know he benefits from this again by being an arrogant jackass and going in front of a Tea Party in front of the Freedom Works group, which is who he was talking to, and standing up and bragging about doing something that hurts kids. Um, and playing to their own sort of identity politics, because that's what it is in the end. These guys identify with their guns like it's a part of their body, um, and, and no reasonable uh, common sense regulations need apply. Uh, you know, by, by doing that, he, he knows what he's doing. This is, he's an, an, an imbecile like Sarah Palin is. This is a guy that went to Princeton, went to Harvard Law. He's just playing the role of an idiot, because uh, he knows it's, it's good. It's like what Rush Limbaugh does. It's like what Glenn Beck does. It's good for his ratings among the only group he cares about, this far-right fringe nut group, and you can tell he's, he loves it. He, you know, he's, he's a guy that needs attention. They're giving him attention. Who cares if he, he has no intention in leg, uh, you know, when it comes to legislating, which he doesn't. He's just there to, to block everything and stop everything. Who cares if uh, you know, he's hurting people, and let's be honest, he's getting kids, veterans, uh, first responders killed, because that's what he's doing if we're going to get rid of the niceties and be honest. He's proud of that. And, and you know, whether he's lecturing Dianne Feinstein, who probably knows more in her, her pinky finger about the Senate than he does in his entire body, or, or you know, anybody else, especially when I think of Feinstein, who was there when Harvey Milk was killed and had to come out and share that information. But he's always smarter than the rest of us, Ted Cruz. So maybe we should all just stop and listen. Well, in addition to calling him Jack, he's also a hypocrite with a capital H because this is the same senator who opposed any federal aid to Hurricane Sandy victims on the East Coast. And as soon as that uh, fertilizer plant exploded in Texas, because, oh, by the way, they weren't regulated because they were breaking the law. What does he do? He asked for federal aid. He's a hypocrite. And it's just uh, it's just amazing.